Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing this free-to-play hybrid Saiyans team. If you guys don't know and you haven't been following JP Dokkan, there's going to be a lot of hybrid Saiyan support during the four-year anniversary. But as of now on Global, this is the best free-to-play hybrid Saiyans team that you can use at the moment, in my opinion, of course. And we are going to be using the new Ultimate Gohan as the leader. He is the World Tournament one. He now gets a leader skill of all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. We have the EZA Gohan here because he's a very good card, of course, being an SA15 level 140 unit. Now, obviously, you can bring the LR Kid Gohan, but the only problem is he is sharing the same name with the EZA Kid Gohan. And I value more the EZA Kid Gohan over the extra 27% leader skill that you know LR Kid Gohan provides so that's why it's been a while since I have done a hybrid Saiyans video now we do have the ghost tanks he is a very good unit changes orbs to rainbow gets the heal back every time he grabs a rainbow and then he has a high chance to stun the enemy there is four stunners in here we have the ultimate Gohan the ghost tanks we have B Pan which is a medium chance she has a great defensive passive as well as that great healing ability we have the trunks here Ella Trunks being, you know, with those high stats, very good unit to bring. Uh, the only problem is when you verse Doken events, you aren't versing two or more enemies, of course. And then we have the High School Gohan, which is a rare chance to stun the enemy. And then a support, because if you haven't used Hybrid Saiyans at all, they don't really link too well, especially with the uh, pay-to-play leader, which is the ultimate Gohan. Uh, he has, don't have that many, they don't share that many links, like nobody has shocking speed at all. They do have Z Fighters, which is nice. Uh, and he's going to be a 170% HP and defense leader and a 130% attack uh, hybrid Saiyans category leader as well. So with that, so bringing support units to help us get the super attack is very crucial. Now with that said, this is where really a hybrid Saiyans start to get really good for Dokkan. So it's uh, good to see that, you know, this team is at least somewhat usable now. And we are going to go up against the future Gohan Dokkan event as we do have a lot of STR units. So we have that type advantage. And I wanted to showcase this team as best as possible. And you know, we'll have the ultimate Gohan, one of the coolest Gohans versus the Super Saiyan future Gohan, which is again, one of the coolest Gohan forms. So let's get as much key as possible as that is super important. I would like some for the ultimate Gohan and probably the... LR Trunks, as he does not get the key boost. So can we please get some... I pressed the wrong one. I wanted to press 3, but I pressed 6 instead. Great. Now, the rotations that I want is Ultimate Gohan with the EZA Kid Gohan, the STR one. Um, and then the other rotation will be LR Trunks and B-Pan. So for now, we'll go like this. We'll just have to tank with the High School Gohan. We can stun on a few of these phases so that is really good especially since we have four stunners all right so first phase is uh physical for the future gohan then it goes tech and i think it's double physical at the end i think there is four phases now when uh, we do hit the four year anniversary i'll definitely get an updated video for you guys of the best hybrid saiyans team hopefully jp doesn't release too many good free-to-play hybrid saiyans unit i know where there's the super saiyan 3 go tanks so we'll just have to see how good he is, the free-to-play farmable one. Um, but at the very least, it's going to ha consist of Goku Jr., Kid Vegeta, EZA, and the Awakened LR B Pan, of course. Going to go like this. B Pan will be at the end here. Although they, the Ultimate Gohans don't link, I need to have B Pan on the other rotation for now. Everybody can super attack. The good thing about the Tech Gohan, which I do want to showcase a little bit of, since you know I haven't really done any videos with him. This is the first time. Uh, how much damage he can do. He is self-sufficient as long as your HP is over 50%. And he gets a total of 100% uh, attack and defense boost as long as you're over 50%. But if you're not 70% attack and defense, which is still pretty good. So for now, we'll go like this. Unfortunately, we have type disadvantage with the LR Trunks. But hopefully his high defense is going to help us survive for a bit. We'll go like that. Everybody can super attack. We can also potentially stun. Luckily, we are tanking the super attack. So that's really good. My goal here, especially with B-Pan and the stunners and the type advantage, no items for this. So let's fingers cross that we get super lucky with, you know, how the Gohan, you know, attacks us. So we're only taking a normal hit with the type disadvantage. So that's good. Only 100 damage. And can we stun? Rare chance though. No stuns. We're going to take a D 
decent hit there. We have over 280,000 HP, which is really, really solid in, um, to be honest. We just luckily got enough to get at a super attack with the ultimate Gohan, so that's really good. And he can tank normal hits quite fine with his passive. Ultimate Gohan isn't really the best category leader at all. You know, he's not the strongest for sure. But he can defend normal hits at the very least. Z5 is all in the family. There's like four, three links that EZA Gohan and the STR Ultimate Gohan share. Same lineage, all in the family, Z Fighters. Yeah, those are three. Fortunately, what? There's only like one key link, which is Saiyan lineage. Nice, we got a critical for 262,000. My tech Ultimate Gohan is only 55% in the dupe system. Uh, the other units, though, are all 100% except the high school Gohan. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, let's go and put Big Pan in the first. This is really my best rotation that I think uh, is good. Because I like Big Pan in the main rotation as she can tank pretty much any hit. Heal us up consistently, especially when we're trying to get a no item run here. We do get the start medium chance. Trunks with the 18 key super, which is nice. And we get the critical, which is perfect. On to the physical stuff. Hopefully we... Get, oh, we, are, we have all our STR units here, or well, most of them. Definitely doing this. Ooh, um, yeah, we'll do this. Sacrifice some of the rainbows. We can actually target this and grab these. Actually looks really good now. Got a lot of rainbow orbs for the EZA Gohan, so you should do some decent damage. We've got the type advantage. This may or may not be the last phase. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like it, but... I have no idea. I haven't really done this event for quite some time. I believe there's four phases, a phase after this as well. Because we are absolutely destroying. I think High School Gohan should be able to finish off this phase here. 266,000, please get it crits or something. Additional? No, no additional. Okay. That's fine. If we uh, finish with B-Pan, we get pretty much full HP back. And then we'll have, again, all the type advantage that we had from the previous turn. So that's, that's the best part. <laughs> and of course, B-Pan, the tank she is taking double digit damage. Also take a super attack, it's probably do like 10,000, 15,000. And then we're pretty much healing it all back after this super attack. 134, we should get about, you know, what, like 40,000 HP back. And yeah, like I said, full HP. We're going to take one type disadvantage hit. Hopefully that's okay. Now we're trying to search for a 5 key potential, which I don't think we can get. Unless these gr the green connects. Or the or oh, luckily we got a another rainbow that popped up. And uh, can we stun here? We can stun. That's interesting. So we do have a chance to stun and help prevent us, you know, not potentially getting super attacked at the end. Should be able to tank everything. As you know, Future Gohan's defense increases every single turn. So we need to take him out as fast as possible or get crits, of course. This is 100% STR Ultimate Gohan, so I'm assuming he will. There we go. 1 million damage and an additional super attack. We get another critical. This might be looking really, really good. No, but 600,000 is still very good. And we get a tank and super attack. How much will this do? 22,000. Now, I also wanted to showcase the uh, Int's future Gohan that is the World Tournament, but I just couldn't fit him in the team. I like this team layout really, really well. And obviously, bringing another Int unit might be a problem. Um, so, we will just go like this. He is stunned. Now, I want to try and get an 18 key super, but not enough key, unfortunately, even with the support. We'll go that just to get the super attack and maybe a potent and then maybe another stun. You know, get that consistent stun. There we go. So we're not going to get hit next turn, which is awesome. And then next turn, oh, actually, we still got like half HP to go. So I don't think we'll be able to finish off next turn unless we get super lucky with the potential system here. No, we're only doing 100 damage. All right, so let's. We need six key. Uh, I might have to. Ah, oh, that sucks. 
risk it here. No, I knew that wouldn't work. We do get the Doken mode. Yes. So this might do some damage here. I just realized uh, Ki Gohan's hair is a little spiked when he's going for the Doken mode. That's pretty cool. Like a pre Super Saiyan form. He actually looks pretty cool in the sprite. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Maybe a million damage with the Kid Gohan. Come on. We didn't grab that many orbs, though. 841,000 with an additional super attack. This might be it. No, wow. The difference between getting a Doken mode is insane. Alright. Crit here? Nope. Just one up bar to go and a very bad rotation. I guess we gotta pray that we um, get lucky here. Hopefully, we, we need one crit. All we need is one crit. Or a stun. No. Will Trunks be able to get the crit? No. Oh, additional super, so an extra chance. Come on, level 15 crit and a dream. There we go. 378,000. I think it just broke uh his hp bar but there you go guys that is going to be the showcase of the hybrid scenes where hybrid scenes start to be very very good for the free to play scene hopefully you guys did enjoy as always if you did make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already share this video around but as always thank you guys for watching it's been jay fanta and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video stay busy peace out